In this video, I'm going to show you how to compute the tangent of 3 pi over 4. So this is just how I do it. There are many ways to do it. This is just my way. So because it's tangent, I like to rewrite it in terms of sine and cosine. So this is sine of 3 pi over 4 over the cosine of 3 pi over 4. Okay. So immediately, um, I know one thing. I know that the sine of pi over 4 is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. And so is the cosine of pi over 4. They're actually both the same. So this is just from memory. So this is something that um, you just know from memory. So you should think this. These are totally worth memorizing. So why is this useful? So now all you have to do is think about the unit circle. So let's draw a picture. So where is 3 pi over 4? Well, this is 0. This is pi over 2. This is pi. And think of pi as a number over 4. So you can write it as 4 pi over 4. And the reason this is useful is because now you can identify where 3 pi over 4 is. It's pi over 4 less than 4 pi over 4. So it's somewhere here in quadrant 2. So this is 3 pi over 4. Now we use the fact that on the unit circle, cosine is the x-coordinate and sine is the y-coordinate. So at this point here, we know that the point should look something like this. So cosine is negative, so this will be negative root 2 over 2. Sine is positive, so this will be root 2 over 2. Right? Because at this point here, the y value is positive, the x value is negative. How do I know this? Well, the trig function values of an angle and its reference angle are the same, except possibly for the sine. That's why whenever you see an angle like this, you immediately think of pi over 4, which is the reference angle. Then you figure out what quadrant you're in. Then you use the fact that on the unit circle, cosine is the x, sine is the y. Well, tangent just means you divide these. But if you divide these numbers, you just get negative 1. Boom. So is this the best way of doing it? I don't know. But it really reinforces a lot of prior knowledge and basically requires just memorizing this one angle. Instead of having to memorize all the angles for tangent, you can focus just on sine and cosine. I hope this video has been helpful.